Do you want to save hours of data entry and ensure accuracy on your spreadsheets? Every HR pro should become an expert in VLOOKUP. Once you learn how to do this, it's super easy and you're going to use it all the time. It's one of the most useful things that I've ever learned how to do in Excel. One of the most helpful formulas that you can master as an HR professional is VLOOKUP, and it's actually very easy once you've learned how to do it, and I'm going to show you how. What VLOOKUP can do for you is, let's say you've run a report out of your HRIS system, and say you forgot to select the, a column of data that you wanted to see, for example, everyone's manager. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and create a column. I'm going to just right click and insert a column where I want to insert the manager. Now I have another report where I have this information and what we can do is what we notice that this report over here, I'm going to be able to pull in everyone's manager based on the reference of the first column. So the key thing to remember about VLOOKUP is that the column A in both of your spreadsheets have to be exactly the same. That is what the VLOOKUP formula is referencing off of. And in this case, it's, we're using employee ID number. So what this is going to do is it's going to be able to look up in both spreadsheets, compare that the column A, which is employee ID number, is the same. And then what it's going to do is going to pop in all of the data that it needs to uh, to basically populate the other spreadsheet with everyone's manager. So let's go back over to our VLOOKUP and we're going to select the cell and then go up here to formulas and then click on the lookup and reference and then go down and select VLOOKUP. This will bring up the function arguments table. And in our case, since we're referencing off of the first cell in column A, you'll, you're usually always going to put A2 as your lookup value. Your table array, select your cursor into that box and then go into your other spreadsheet. The table array is going to be all of the data in this other spreadsheet. So you're basically going to come over here and select everything. And then column index is the number of columns over of the column that you want to reference off of. So in our case, that's column E, and that's going to be one, two, three, four, four, five. That's the fifth column over. So our column index number is going to be five. Range lookup is always going to be false. The way that we use uh, VLOOKUP for human resources is we always put false here because we want to pull the exact number over or the, the exact field of information over. So click OK. And there it is. It pops in the manager's name. So I'm going to double click to copy it all the way down. And you'll notice that the formula stays in there. What we want to do is just copy in. We can right click copy and then right click paste special values and that will replace it with the actual name. And there we have it. What we can do now is double check that everything looked correct. And so we know from our manager spreadsheet that let's just pick a random employee. And we know that employee number 1019's boss is Audrey Bingham. And so we go over here, we can hit control F for find employee 1019. And we look over here and Audrey Bingham. So you know you've done it right. You've pulled over all the correct information. One trick I want to show you real quick that might be helpful is let's just say that the spreadsheet that you're referencing from may be very large and you um, need to find out that column index number. All you have to do is highlight over to the column of which column that you're referencing off of and then down here it'll tell you the count. So we knew uh, that was column index number five, but if you had a very large spreadsheet and you wanted to be look up off of a column way over here, all you have to do is highlight it and then that count will be your column index number. It is so easy to do once you get started doing it 
and it, it's, it gets easier and easier every time. If you ever run into any issues, just let me know. I'm happy to help you troubleshoot. One thing that you can always troubleshoot is making sure that the cells in the column A in both spreadsheets are formatted as numbers. Uh, if it's format, if one of them is formatted as text instead, for some reason, it might cause an error in your VLOOKUP formula. But I'm happy to help, and I wish you the best of luck in using this. It's so helpful. You'll use it in so many different ways. And so I encourage you to watch this video again, master it. Let me know if you'd like to see more examples. I'm happy to show you. See how easy that was? Once you know how to use VLOOKUP, you say you have a template that you use every year that you upload your compensation data to participate in a comp survey. You need to update just one column of data every year, and that's everyone's updated salary information. That's exactly what you can use VLOOKUP for. You can even VLOOKUP off of a different, any something other than a number if you need to use text and a number in something like a network ID, you can reference off of that and VLOOKUP off of those types of things. If you're interested in seeing more VLOOKUP, then type in the comments below, type VLOOKUP, just type the word VLOOKUP and let me know if you want to see more videos. I can give you more examples and show you how to do this so that you become the pro. Visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com, and grab your free download of spreadsheet formulas for HR professionals.